So one of the toughest things about growing out your hair is always going to be split ends. And it surprises me sometimes like how little people actually know about managing their split ends, when to cut their split ends, how often they should, what causes it, how to prevent it, can you fix it. If you need to know more about split ends, keep watching. I'm going to give you all the deets on how to manage those split ends. All right, so first things first, how do you identify if you even have split ends? Um, the best way to check and see if you have split ends is to take one single piece of your hair, look at the end of it, and see if there's a split that looks like this on the end. If you see that, then you have split ends. Split ends are not microscopic. You don't need any kind of special tool to see them. And I think that a lot of people don't realize this and they just clip off their hair whenever they feel like they have split ends. Um, also, another thing is assuming that you have split ends just because the ends of your hair looks dry or damaged or different from the rest. The ends of your hair is always gonna be a little bit different than the rest of your hair because it's the oldest part of your hair. It's been around the longest and a lot of those protective layers on it are starting to break down it's starting to lose some of those fatty acids and it's just going to look different from the rest of your hair so doesn't necessarily mean that you have split ends just because your hair on the ends looks a little bit more dry so the best way to diagnose and properly identify if you have split ends is just to take one single strand and look at the end and see if the, it is split how often should you clip your ends that is going to be unique to each person Everybody's different. Um, genetically, genetics plays a big role in how often you're going to need to clip your hair. Some of us have stronger hair than others. But also, what does your regimen look like? How often do you use heat tools? How often are you chemically altering your hair as far as like bleach, perm? All of those things prematurely break down your each strand of hair. So how often are you doing those things? And how gentle are you on your hair? How often are you detangling your hair? If you detangle your hair like every day versus someone who wears their hair in protective styles most of the time, you're gonna have to clip your ends more often than someone who's very gentle on their hair. How much hair should you cut off each time you clip your ends? That is going to um, depend on how far the split is up your hair shaft if it comes up to here i usually cut like a quarter inch above that so that i know i'm getting nice healthy hair if if you cut right above the split it's probably that part of their hair is probably damaged as well and it's probably just gonna you know um end up splitting on you as well so i try to get about a quarter inch above where um I'm noticing the split so I make sure that I have a good healthy foundation can you repair your split ends there is no shampoo conditioner treatment oil anything there is nothing out there that is going to bond those two pieces of hair back let it go and clip your ends that is the one of the biggest lies in the industry is that you can mend your split ends there is nothing you can do to make that hair the same as it was so just let it go clip those ends and keep it pushing what are some things that you can do to prevent split ends healthy hair starts from within so you want to make sure that you are getting a nice eating a nice balanced diet and i'm not like a dietitian or anything like that or a nutritionist definitely eat a balanced diet and make sure that you're getting those important nutrients in that contribute to hair, hair health like your b vitamins your iron protein omegas all of those good things um <clears throat> but also one of those foundational things that you want to do is make sure that you're using a good um stimulating scalp oil when you use something like my um my urban fuse scalp oil this is going to introduce all those good things that are going to promote healthier hair follicles another thing that you want to do is make sure that you're using the right method of moisturizing your hair moisture is necessary to um, combating split ends because split ends comes from having dry hair what i use is the l 
LCO method. A lot of people use the LOC method, but I like to use the LCO. And what that is, is going to be your lubricant. So obviously I use water as my lubricant, but I also use my leave-in curl refresher, which is a very light mist that is going to help to, um, it's going to help, it's going to be that first step in moisturizing your hair that is going to invite in, <laughs> it's going to invite in your C, which is going to be your conditioner. So this is my conditioning curl cream that is going to soften and um, condition the hair. And then for my O, I use my seal and shine mist, which is going to seal in the moisture of your hair and have help you to have longer lasting moisture and when you have longer lasting moisture you have fewer split ends so if you want to buy any of these products you can get them at www.kellyloganhair.com that's where you can find all of those essential tools and hair products for natural hair and another thing that's worth mentioning if you have sickle cell trait i know that brown and black people are more more prone to getting sickle cell trait um, and this does affect the moisture in your hair as well as it'll give you dry, brittle hair as well as um, dry and brittle nails. So you want to make sure that you are not deficient in iron. And I also take a probiotic to overall improve the health of my gut to help me to absorb nutrients better. So if you have um, sickle cell trait, go to the doctor and check your... Um, your iron levels have them check your iron levels because that can affect your hair and if you're noticing that you're doing everything you possibly can and you still have dry brittle ends or you're constantly getting split ends that could be a contributing factor so make sure you get that checked out but I hope this video was very helpful I feel like split ends is definitely one of those things that we kind of ignore and uh, a lot of people are just not very educated on how to manage their split ends. So hopefully this helped you a little bit. And if it did help you, I hope you'll consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any more informative videos that I will create in the future, okay? But you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.